have left Costa We've got a big video today for the interior of Anatolia. I guess. A region called Cappadocia, where Manuel is the unstoppable might of the German Empire. If I am lucky, I will not be alone. <laughs> that was out of nowhere. Many spies in the area are waiting to strike. Well, I'm out of World Cup ever, games to reference, so. Myself, <laughs> and hold the memory of dear I don't know if Toss to can heart. keep the theme going Claudia. here. You uh, yeah, we're, we're all out of sports. Like thoughts of your brother now. There's baseball. I have come to admire baseball Sophia doesn't exist. more affection than I thought possible. So what's Ezio you doing here? After the death He's of writing Christina, to his sister. Hey, I think I just had a weird flashback where I was trapped in this feeling, geometric nightmare. For love. With lots of flying <laughs> shapes and lasers and I adore lights Sophia, and some guy named Clay. But dare not drag her into a very, the very stiff mind. quill. Not without fear of hurting her. Yeah, really. Listen, well, there's 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 is no, physics. there is no having physics in this game. I'll have it's you a real know. shame. Not really any fire physics either. There are pirate physics. So we rejoin Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Oh, we're not playing that game, are we? Well, we did just pan away from the ship, so I think thematically that means we're moving away. That game that hadn't come out yet. Yeah. I'm digging the dub though. Here. Yeah. And no he's got a new outfit men. here. And sequence seven is the only time Ezio can wear this outfit. Well, that's a shame. You should wear it all the time. It's not even a selectable skin or anything. This is the only time you can wear it. This is pretty <laughs> close to. Uh, actually, this is pretty close to the black flag outfit. Now that I think about it. <laughs> Just the standard one, at least. Mm -hmm. Just gonna le leisurely walk up a few hundred stairs. So you may notice there's an Animus data fragment on the mini map. Hmm. That's because in my new game, uh, the one I started because I deleted my old one, I got 50 data fragments before coming to Cabotocha, so all of the data fragments in the game are already marked on the mini map. Oh, so they just show up? Yeah, look, I got 64 before I nice. came to Cappadocia. Nice. Look at you go. Not that there's any point whatsoever in me collecting all 100. Multiplayer <laughs> skins, I think. That you're probably already on a... I already have. Yeah. <laughs> yep, I already have. Oh well. Oh, don't mind me. Just coming right through. So oh, this is the Byzantine Templar's base of operations. The Byzantine Templar's basement? Something like that is their underground city. A whole bunch of basement dwellers. I should have known. But yeah, even though this is technically a new city, Sequence 7 is more is more of missions designed around a city than a city designed around missions. Mm. Or maybe it's the other way around. Well, point is, this isn't really a functional city since it only has like a couple stores and a bank. Some tailors. And, yeah, you only come here for sequence seven. So once you're done with sequence seven, you leave and don't come back. This is quite, this so is you're saying you're going to set the whole thing on fire? That may be what I do. I don't know. There's all these stone uh, buildings. Yeah, so I'm expecting an explosion. Lots and lots of explosions. So the alternate objective of this mission is just not to get detected, which, if this whole area was a red zone, might be kind of tricky, but it's not. So you can just walk so, around as long as you're not yeah, this, punching people? Yeah, as long as you don't get into open conflict, I don't think you'll get into trouble with the alternate objective, which is kind of strange to me. Mm -hmm. You having some issues getting to the... Uh... Exclamation point. Oh, yes. I, I was stuck here for an annoying amount of time because I never thought, hey, I, I think it's below, I think the Vent marker is below me, not above. Oh, no. It's pointing up. Reason. But we get a little look at the little city here. It's a little underground market. Yep. Hey, hey there's there. here must be a bitch. <laughs> I do like how they didn't just throw all the NPC models from Constantinople in here, because that wouldn't make sense. They've got like their own little group. Yeah. Templar bros. So yeah, that jump cut was just me thinking, hey, <laughs> Figuring out where the hell it is. Upwards. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, you just missed the conveniently placed, uh... <coughs> crates and, and shit. This is- what the hell is the purpose of this particular, like... Quest marker? No, I mean just like the ge the, the actual geometry. Oh. Like the there's oh, a Oh, that's also a valid question. <laughs> there's a wow. ladder closed out of cloud or carved out of the wall. Well, they were probably using this for maintenance or something. Oh, yeah, Jeff. Yes, they're using it for loot. No one will ever find my Indian gunpowder if I hide it hundreds of meters above the city. <laughs> or in a, uh... It's like hiding your face in a, uh, pot or grass. It just never, mm -hmm. never works that well. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this is, this is the actual point of getting up here, is to synchronize this one viewpoint and capture it. How oh, can you way. even see this? <laughs> it's uh, dark. He has magical eagle sense. Yeah. Dog. So the last time we talked to old Tarek, who we accidentally killed yeah. back in sequence six, he was like, <laughs> <laughs> nah, not "Very Neil memorable Tark. dialogue." Yeah, yes. He mentioned he already had spies among the Byzantine Templars, and that's who we're trying to find now. Hmm. But that's not to say I won't be doing some goofing around in this video, which I most certainly will do. I mean, Let's get goofy. I fragments to collect, so... I need a beer if I'm gonna get goofy. I'll be right back. At least it's not diabetes going into the bathroom while recording was running. Oh no. The Lara... The Lara... Croft. Well, I'm glad I picked up a beer. My fridge was not closed all the way. Goodness. I'd have to get up and go get a beer if I really wanted one from my fridge. Which is not in, uh, handy. <coughs> Arm length, arm's length away. Well, it's not arm's length away, sadly. I don't have that. Not so close, I don't have that anymore, it's sadly. Easy yeah, now. It's, it's like God right accept away. me. Only you? <laughs> Why not more? I am enough. Maybe I'm just Where really fast at getting beer. Captured by Byzantines over a week ago. I was just I like how like a slave this Ottoman escape. spy just knocked but over a Byzantine others. soldier right Are in front of her house. Are you a capable fighter? <laughs> That's not like suspicious. So. <laughs> Good way to keep searching. your secret identity. Come find me. Well, at least she gave us some money. Now what? Or maybe this, maybe this universe. Yeah, I was. I don't know why there's a jump cut. Jump cut. Jump I cut. Noticed it, I've noticed that at least one animus fragment went missing off the map. So. <laughs> oh no! Oh, you're gonna get Just it. Acting poison. No. This makes. So it, it destroys the per. Oh. For some reason, we have the assassin discount in a place controlled by Templars. I'm not sure what the deal with that is. You know, keep your friends close, keep your enemies closer. Besides, they're like, if anybody well, yeah. comes here and gives us a discount, just tell us what they look like and we're gonna go hunt them down later. <laughs> now you all get to see me being a real asshole. I love being a real asshole. With these two guards. I love these two guards. Oh wait, maybe it's not... <laughs> no, I think it's... <laughs> nah, we're getting closer. I have an evil plan in mind. Hello there. Uh... <laughs> wow, okay then. <laughs> oh, 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 At least they have the... villager physics. Because it's funny. At least somebody saw you. Um. <laughs> now the part really of the battle system that gets work. super goofy. <laughs> uh, AKA now, the best right part. Now, yeah, right now. 
right now I'm using Mehmet's dagger in Yusuf's Turkish kitchen. Yo, that is large and awkward looking. That's like that's like a dagger that's two sizes too big for you. Please put it back and get one that is more your size. Hey, he just gave up. It's so weird. <laughs> well, he, he knew he was backed into a corner, and he, he realized that he was overmatched. Yeah, I, I've never seen. I very rarely see guards who give up in the middle of a fight. Look, the man is just smarter than than brave. Smarter than he is brave. Unfortunately, Ezio isn't that honorable. Uh, choke slams never get old. <laughs> just stabbing a dude in the chest. I just butchered about 12 guys. Yeah, they're just, just yeah. lying in the middle of the city. I think they're gonna know that you're here now. Uh, oh yeah, and we don't have notoriety either. It's also strange. <laughs> Super strange. That's it. That's it. That's wearing the mask for Venice. Then again, having guards attacking you all the time when you're wandering around here, that would get really got another Yeah, they kind of knew that t combat was not the strong suit, and they didn't want to force the player into it more than necessary. Sending his Harlem girls now, eh? That one is spear. Sultan's running out of skilled fighters. Where did you take her? Uh-oh. Inside, into the prisons. But she won't last long. Not with Shakulu in charge. Shakulu. Shakulu Zulu? That's a James Bond reference. The spy who shunned me. Hmm. And now, of course, you're gonna be a big strong man, Savior. Yep. I think I had fun with this mission. Nothing yes, like I a strong female mission. character. Boy, it's not gonna be hard to not kill anyone if you don't see anyone. How soon before my soldiers are trained to use those guns? <laughs> a few weeks at most. Janice Do it tomorrow. Oh, I have betrayed them by now. Shakulu's got a nice mask they on. have the resources mm -hmm. for retribution. Doubtful. The Sultan's battle with Selim commands most of their attention. This is a pretty sick attention. mask. I want that mask. <laughs> ah! What the hell is that spell? Apologies, Manuel. Some of these Ottoman prisoners are so fragile. I can't imagine they have good ventilation. Chakuru, try to moderate your anger. Yeah, this place has got to be stinking. I humiliated no. your people, but there is no need to spit on men who are beneath us. Ah, I see. This dude's honorable, you so his death will at least be accompanied by a ten-paragraph speech. Bring her to the well, he has a name. Chakuru. I don't have. Yeah, the that, that definitely helps. And we've seen him before, so... To, to be quite honest, everybody at Seal Kills just gets a, a bit of a speech and just keeps going exponentially down as the series goes on and, uh, Siphon kills more and more people. <laughs> at, at this point, we're down to, like, two or three nanoseconds. Nice miss! Oh. Yeah, that was... Oh, cool. and you almost just ran all the way off. Expert parkour right there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I know for a fact Yusuf's Turkish Kid Jill has unique kill animations. But I'm not sure about Mehmet's dagger. It might. I don't just. I just couldn't tell you. God knows they couldn't make a woman do those animations. Whee. That's completely, completely absurd. You know, like knives. That's that's the important thing on the list. Yeah. But. So I have one musical track yeah. again. <laughs> the one Didn't I have like. time for musical tracks either. Oh, that's the Eagle Vision doing it, so... Yep. Mm -hmm. So, now we need to hunt down a guard named Nicolas to get his to get the prison keys from him. Nicolas Teslas? <laughs> yep. No, he's not a Templar, he's an assassin. It's court. Yeah, I know. Of course he is. But you, you might have heard it, but when I just entered this little marketplace, you might have heard a lot of cheering and noises. That's your clue to where this guy is. It's because they love uh, you. Yep. Is he going to be in gold? Well, we have three guys in gold. Hmm. Oh, those guys are gold. They sometimes have trouble telling. 
That's the, like, I never yeah. really used Eagle Vision that much because it just obscured everything. By any means. In this game, it's not as bad as it was in, like, 2. <laughs> <laughs> Took him a half second to, like, turn around there. Eagle Vision is another one of those mechanics that's gotten a bit better in every entry in the series so far. Yeah, I mean, it was awful in 1. Like, yeah. next to unusable, because it didn't really have much use, and... Like... You all your whole world just became black whenever you used it. Yeah. And, and by Assassin's Creed 4, it lets you have X-ray vision. Actual <laughs> X-ray vision. And it helps. It really helps in like some of the tailing missions where guys will start running instead of just walking walking casually down the street. But it doesn't matter also. because you you can still see them with your X-ray vision. And <laughs> you don't you yeah, don't get well, the it, uh, you must remain in visual contact with your uh, tail warning. Because mm -hmm. you so, can see them through walls. Exactly. Yep. And really, you don't even need to chase them at all because you know where they are at all times. Well, if they get too far away from All you, you need is a drop of their blood. <laughs> yep. Is that how tracking spells work? Pretty common fantasy yeah. trope. Another thing I should mention is that um, you can dye your clothes at the tailor shop in Cappadocia, mm -hmm. but because this is like a set outfit, the colors don't actually change while it seals in sequence seven. <laughs> what is that? Not everyone was taken prisoner. For example, you may remember I ended the last Ezio. So she couldn't video. see them through the bars of her that cage. That, listen, it's your, a, her a door very, is very right fine. there. I'll kill him. Wait. It's a very, very. Wait. Follow me. Wait. Charlotte. Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan. <laughs> Wasn't that uh, what you call it? Thread tag for a while. It still is a thing. I think it still is. Yeah, I think it still is. <laughs> I mean, fucking falconry still has a goddamn. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe they just don't have the ability to delete them. Uh, this is something awful. I'll have you know that we had the greatest motherfucking forums uh, <laughs> on the earth, and there's the most absolutely incredibly coded wrong forum. with them whatsoever. Now it's time to have a little fun with poison. Watch what. No, watch again. Right Sick move. Shoot in between the crowd. <laughs> oh yeah. Now, now the guy's never gonna know where it came from. Timed perfectly. So, because that guy has an axe. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ezio oh, wow. did not kill civilians, sir. <laughs> no, but the uh, Templars did. <laughs> he may be directly responsible, but. He didn't kill them. <laughs> this is like some retarded Batman thing. <laughs> Batman didn't oh, kill people. Oh, nice people, job. But he just didn't. He just didn't rep, uh, rescue them from a car that was getting jumped into a car crash. <laughs> literally. <That's huge>. Literally. <laughs> you know, I like how that one Batman woman pushed didn't her. kill people, but he didn't save a guy who was drowning. Well, it's not part of the code. Like the, totally different. I like it. I like how that one woman pushed her, f the person who was standing in front of her, right into the path of the swinging axe. Basically, madness is taking over the streets because there is a quick acting disease, and I think your feet just got slashed. Wow, this. <laughs> this is a really silly fight. This combat system really falls apart when you add in the. Throwing stones at you because you're at a higher elevation. Oh my god. <laughs> This is such a well-coded game. <laughs> I'm getting really tired of this guy. A a a anyway, just, just for people, for reference, Quick Poison is basically the same as regular Poison, but... Uh, Quicker. It work instantaneously instead of having to wait like a, a few seconds. Yeah. And then just more faffing jump, cuts, about, jump, cuts. doing nothing important. Faffing about Creed. I want, it, I want it to fit all of sequence 7 in one video, because this is a 46... this is a 47 minute video. And we've got a lot to cover still. Mm. You do not cooperate very well. I'm yep. here to rescue my men. The Lost Archive. Yo, she's not here to make friends. Minutes. She's like every okay. survivor contestant ever. 
That armor is too thick for bullets. I would have to get in close. Jones, we have to help him. <laughs> I mean, he did. He just didn't give it to you. Yeah, I'm sure he invented he everything. I think Vin Da Vinci is pretty close to dying in 1511. Yeah. I'm almost surprised he's not dead already. I think he was still alive in this game, or when this game took place. And shit. And so I noticed you just jump cut real slick right there. Yeah, that was flawless. <laughs> that's, because of, that's because somehow I got spotted by that, the, by the second guy, I think. So you're saying... I'm not sure how he spotted me, but he did. So Ezio just did a shadow leap there. And look, I'm Hi there. right next to that guy. He didn't see me. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy. Don't cross behind him. Maybe yeah, he like thought you were his replacement. He was two days from retirement, you know. That reminds me of one Arkham Asylum video I saw where a goon turns around and looks right at Batman and then just looks right back away. Goons have poor eyesight. Oh, yep. Jumping off a cross to kill the... Kill shaka laka laka laka. <laughs> Boom shaka laka laka laka. And Shakulu is another multiplayer character out of murder. Deserve no pity. Which is kind of funny that he says people who make a fetish out of murder deserve no pity. Uh, 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 he isn't dead yet. Uh, uh, <laughs> yep, one of the very few targets that see who doesn't kill <laughs> Nice try. <laughs> may, you may have landed on me, but... Shek this spider can actually be pretty dangerous, but Shakulu is pretty aggressive. Wow, an Assassin's Creed fight that you can't just win instantly? Nope. He has a health bar, you can't just insta kill him. He has a health bar, good god. He acts like the Janissaries, but a bit more aggressive. <laughs> nice try getting away, buddy. Oh, yeah, I'm glad everyone's gonna stand by here as you knock that dude out with your ringer. Check Hulu is attacking. Never in range. Whoop. The one problem with the Assassin's Creed system is that you're in the safest place when someone is about to attack you. And you can do the most damage when someone is about to attack you. It wasn't huge on Arkham, Arkham Asylum system either, to be honest. The weird thing about Arkham Battle the Arkham Damn! Is, yeah. <laughs> I just creamed that Knocked guy. him the fuck out with a helmet on. Yeah, the weird thing about Can Arkham Combat is that it's, it's actually harder when there are fewer people, be mm -hmm. fewer goons Most around. Well, yeah, because you get an opening anytime like someone tries to attack you, so if there's just one, you kind of just sit there. Yeah. Or punch and he blocks you, and... Then you run. It's just bad news. And another, thi you and that, another thing is that when I get into a rhythm in a fight, if I get interrupted, see, interrupted in I'm that rhythm, mm -hmm. I do a lot worse than then you I think I would when I play those games. I mean, honestly, the so, Arkham games battle system is a rhythm game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is on sale on Steam. Because it's a French made game. But yeah, I guess you, Shek Hulu dying in some corner is less dramatic than him dying. You literally punch assassinated him. Punch assassinated, yep. Ugh. But yeah, he uses a spear in multiplayer. Huh. But we can also loot him, because there's nothing wrong with spear being dead. Especially yeah. this guy. Wow! He's a Fuck. medicine, poison, yeah, he's knives, loaded. damn, son. I mean, it, I mean that, that, that actually kind of makes it's sense. It's thematically appropriate, stuff, given yeah. he was... Yeah, murdering and sense. torturing people. I'm glad they thought that through. Oh yes, and the Cappadocia database entry showed up at some point. I don't know when it did. I think when you like landed on the island. It just didn't show me. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is neat. Interesting stuff. I had no idea underground cities were a huge thing in central Turkey. Underground cities are all a rage, man. Apparently. Just like Tupperware parties. Also big in central Turkey. 
in the well, 1500s. Because it's basically you're all in a cage. <laughs> I would not mind going to Cappadocia in real life. That'd be pretty neat, I think. IRL. IRL, yep. Hi there, Doctor. I got punched in the yeah. face and also slashed. But yeah, I was talking about robe colors earlier mm -hmm. before I get interrupted by a cutscene and what I was gonna say was that you may recall from the last Ezio video his robe at the end of it was Mediterranean cobalt which is a very blue color mm -hmm. but when at the at the end of this video when Ezio returns to Constantinople um, his robe will be a brown color and that's because I changed his color to Cappadocian amber but you can't see it because this is a set outfit. Ah. Uh, right. Hey, it's that guy. Just yell that to the masses. <laughs> Ezio oh, sees sorry. a Rube Goldberg sorry, machine in the making. This is definitely the hardest option. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's evil. There is, there is a ton of fighting in this mission. Oh, that's and super taking evil. Taking no dim is not fun. Assassin's Creed. I, re I see a Rube Goldberg I machine of making. Never pop the description. But yeah, you need to be really good with counters to get through this optional objective. Or smoke bombs. G L H F. Or smoke bombs. Or smoke bombs is sort of the the answer to all questions in the Assassin's Creed games. But like a man, I'm just gonna use bombs and poison darts to kill people at range. Nice. Yeah, for some reason, I went the wrong way. Even though I played this mission like 50 times at this point. Hmm, the checkpoint's right in front of this thing. Better better go elsewhere. Now to come to my success run, which is like 30 minutes after I started the mission. I was gonna ask how many tries it was. It was quite a few. Yeah, I know that feeling. But the good news is that on my success run, a lot of funny things happened. That's really the best of all worlds. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm really glad I didn't screw up this run. The worst is when you fuck up and you think to yourself, "Damn, there were so many good moments in this." <laughs> I love throwing. <laughs> Second one, just for good measure. Well, now I can see why you don't take any damage in this run. These these axe guys. Whoop. If you, I don't think you can actually block against them. If you try to block, you'll take a little damage and fail. So the Ow. axe guys are your worst enemies. That's hard. Gunblade. 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 What is it? Press R two to make it trigger. See, this is a mission I remember, and the reason why I remember this mission is because I died a whole fucking lot trying to do the optional objective. <laughs> yeah, but I, I had fun say, with this did mission. You, did you do it? Did you full sync? Yes. I, I did very close to it. Oh, I think that poison was a bad idea because you alerted everyone else. Yo, did that you just take a bullet to the base? Yep. Because yeah. he is heavy, and that guy is currently stuck in the staircase. <laughs> A most ignoble fate. Oh wait, that's the guy who's poisoned to avoid him. <laughs> I don't know how I got <laughs> here, but... Ow. No, 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 no. <laughs> you didn't just do that. I loved that kill animation, and I'm so happy this was a success run. It's... Oh god. In between that guy getting stuck in the staircase and that kill animation, I probably would have just kept this part in there. Just keep this run. Tell him, yeah, I did it successfully at some point. Trust me. You know, I like how these guys are heavy armored and a sword goes through it, but a, a gunshot doesn't. Video games, everybody. It like bounces off of them. It like bounces off their armor or something. Whoop. <laughs> so unnecessary. The armor was weaker back yeah. there, Ezio saw that with his eagle vision. Ah, of yep. course. Indian gunpowder. I wonder how, I have to wonder if eagle vision is like a thing Ezio can turn off and on, or if he just sees the whole world in eagle vision. I'm pretty sure if he just sees the whole world in eagle vision he has cataract. 
Whoop! <laughs> God, I forgot how, like, stupid that, uh, animation is for when you get someone in the back, like, by surprise. He just kind of, like, pokes the sword through them. Yeah, here was really dangerous, because I was being super aggressive, and I thought one of those axe guys would get me. Seriously, damn, son. You must have been so hype after all of them died. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. But now we're done. As long as I don't do something stupid and jump out of the forest, <laughs> I'm cool. Thank God the invisible oh, walls saved you. You know, Here we go. That, that implies at one point you actually did in fact jump out of the fort. Ezio, that would not have saved you. <laughs> Listen, it was a shaped charge. I love so it. It's, it's just, just, it's just not Ezio, Ezio though. Blowing up you little. need to take cover. Though. I knew we were gonna explode the entire city. It is ends. Sanchez! Compose yourselves! Do not give in to fear. We this boy, this man's voice does not sound nearly booming enough, enough for this. We are the lords of this land! We're the lords of this land! What the hell is he saying? Horion! <laughs> Do not let anyone break him! Hi there. Full synchronization, not nearly as hard as the last time. Which is funny because they know you're here now. Yep. But yeah, we have to hunt Dan Manuel, but he's on the move too, and we have quite a bit of ground to cover to catch up to him. But luckily, he has a big target over his head. Literally. Yeah. And with is that a fat joke? No. Maybe. He's awesome. Um. Greetings! Aww. You think your puny gates can stop me? Did you see what happened to the last gate I went up against? Somebody just caused it to teleport Some guy just appeared out of nowhere. Whoop! There's not really any point to me fighting these guys. Ooh, that was close. Jump over the, the but you're just like, nah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that was the most unnecessary kill animation I have ever seen. Yeah, that's why the uh, is awesome. And I've played Bayonetta. I, I don't know, you see, I, I've been playing Wolfenstein, the uh, New Order. And so I wanted to see how much the guy was taking a leak. And uh, BJ... <laughs> Uh, slammed his head down, the guy's head into the toilet. Uh, gave him a swirly. Drowned him. <laughs> and then stuck a knife into his head. And ripped it out. Ezio was a Fucking nerd. To be fair, it was against the Nazis. Oh, he's a Nazi, that makes it okay. Oh boy, is that, uh, Chekhov's rope down at the bottom? Oh, I know the, I know the Wolfenstein series. We fight, we fight for, for dignity. Peace, That's why I'm running away life. from you. Templars are always quick to talk of peace, but very slow to concede power. You got Your that right. Power begets peace, Flaka. It cannot happen in reverse. These people would drown without a fair hand to lift them up. Who is going to push this dude into the water? There he is. The monster I think we have I came a better to kill. thing in store for him. So yeah, even though Manuel is a unique enemy, he goes down as easily as any other guy. Maybe I'll, he's maybe a little tougher to kill, but not by much. Okay, so Bonk. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Run him through. I mean, it's not like he's wearing armor. Like, shaka waka boom boom. He had so many plans. Your dreams, dreams die, die with you, bitch. Well, mm. empire is gone. Huh? Should have worn armor under all that. Oh, is this actually starting the lineage? Is that how we know that Mr. T is a Templar? Yeah, that's how it works. Okay. Mr. T lost his mama. Yeah, he loves his mama and he loves the Templars. Yeah. here for the Masyaf key. Take it. He's a Take promoter it. of now war. You seek your fortune. 
We have all five CD-ROMs that we can finally install. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? I remember those days when you needed many CDs to install video games, PC games, I should say. Many floppies. The game's really small. It fits on 35 floppies. This is quite a biography about someone who doesn't exist. Nice. I'm sure hey, someone had the name Paleologos. Well, yeah, the Paleologos were a real family, but I don't think there was a Manuel that we know of. Manuel does sound more like a uh, non-Ottoman name, but what do I know? Oh, well, it's supposed to be Greek. Uh. I guess I should have seen that with the Pelo logos. Five out of five. And now we learn the true master. Poor Manuel, last of the Paleologi. I should not have put him in charge of our Masyaf expedition. He was an arrogant man. Impossible to keep in line. I, I give him credit for soliloquizing as a villain on a boat instead of right in front of you, but this is still pretty egregious. That pit father against son, brother against brother. It's not like to achieve true peace, mankind must be a new as one. It's not like there's ever been a boat assassination. Well, there, there, there is a secret in the Grand Temple will give us just that. So I can't shoot him without nobody knowing. And Altair will lead us there. Delusions. He's even getting closer. Dire secrets are not for you. They're for I me. I'm not interested nah. in arguing, Ezio. I am here for the Mustang Keys. I am here for your Mustang Keys. <laughs> more than this one. Keys? So it's a pretty a... sick ride. Perhaps I should ask someone who knows better. Yeah, Ahmed Sophia is Suleiman's uncle. Is Gasp. Her name? She knows and nothing. he's the mastermind of the Byzantine Templars. Gasp. See. I will kill you if you Which touch is how the Byzantines try. are allowed to operate inside Constantinople because Gasp. one of their own pretty much rules the city. Now we need to get the hell out of here. So is Ezio's new girlfriend about to get fridged? Uh, I maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Probably not. Now we need to get the hell out of here. Bonk. Go. Thanks for your weapon, but I got a better one. <laughs> Yes, I was hoping I would get that kill animation. The one where he just brutal. The guy's, <laughs> guy's, the guy's, the guy's runs a guy's neck. And, oh, you, I thought you meant the one where he accidentally bumps somebody off the ledge and they die. Well, that's him. I mean, that would happen yeah, with that you, armor. So, the optional objective, don't lose more than half your health. That means you can't just, you just can't fall beneath half your health. So you can use medicine to... So you can lose health. what is technically more than half your health as long as it doesn't go below that half. You did lose mark. your entire yeah. life. But even I mean, it's, it's... that damn great. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, that just makes a bullying check much easier. And so we, since we exploded that gunpowder, a noxious haze has overtaken the city. Boy, oh, didn't really? think that one through. That's why they have the health optional objective because as you're running through the city to the exit, ah, you're losing health no the one, whole time. No one will, no one will be fighting you, but you're constantly losing little health. Running through the poison gas, a very video gamey side quest. Yep. And another thing I should mention about Cappadocia is that they, ha it has its own unique books, and there's a trophy for um, buying all the books in the game. But the books here are really expensive because of the Templar tax. So it's more of a fuck you second run kind of thing? Actually, the best strategy for that is just to leave your game idling uh, yeah, of course. for a long time, allow your bank account to build up, yep. and then just go buy them when you have enough money. So that's really boring. Wow, fucking Assassin's Creed. They're it infinite money. It is, yeah, it is not fun at all. Just Then again, the point of a video game is to play it, not just watch it doing nothing. I don't know, a dark room is pretty good. I have no time for these idiots. Whoop! 
so you have so little time for them that you are now in cutscene mode. And since Ezio has time to kill until he gets back to the city, why don't we live all we live all play years just Hey, yeah, sure. I think it is. We'll see. Is it the one where he gets busy? No, he already. Well, he's already. Yeah, he had kids off screen. <sighs> or he had one. He had one on screen in Assassin's Creed 2. I do remember that. That. <laughs> that was the one thing that made me jump straight up, and I hated it because it took me Our so long to figure out. Brief, I know. But I have faith this could yeah, at 92, Altair is looking to pretty ask. good. Altair, this gift is. Is that Marco Polo? Grazie. Nicolo. So Marco's father. Where will we go next? Same shit. Back to Constantinople for a time. So how do we, we make Altair look older? Just give him a beard. Okay. Your son Marco will be eager to hear uh, his father's follow. wild stories. <laughs> He's a little young for such tales. But one day soon, see? Father, a vanguard of Mongols has broken through. The village is overrun. Nicolo. Your cargo and provisions are waiting. He does have a pretty games. cool robe there. I'm we will escort that. you there. That is pretty sweet. Ready to catapult and watch Especially for Especially since his last robe we saw was ratty as hell. Yeah. So where are we right now? I mean, I see. We are in Masyaf. Ah. I got it. Yep. Literally like the fifth or sixth time we've been here. Greetings. <laughs> All right, this way. So you can just like totally destroy the brains of these Mongol soldiers with the apple. Because they are, of course, savages. Well, the apple can destroy the brains of anyone. Sure, sure. Just keep pushing your civilization narrative on us all. Hello there! What? Uh, <laughs> and everybody he's, died. He's, I'm not entirely sure what he's doing there. He's like summoning phantoms Let's to Let's kill go. the Mongol soldiers for real. Deep. I'm not entirely sure how that works though. He had mastered the, ele the elements. The Polos are really, really calm about all this. I'll give them that. Well, they know they have Altair right in front of the guy who nobody can kill. Oh well, yeah, I wouldn't be able to kill someone with such a ridiculous action pose. But yeah, in Brotherhood, you also got to use the Apple of Eden, but wasn't it Ezio really bad? Yeah. Ezio, right, well, this the way. thing was Ezio wasn't very good with it, uh. so it hurt him when he used it. But Altair has had the apple for what, like, 70 years something at this point? Uh. So he knows how to use it by now. <laughs> knows how to use it to kill literally everyone. Jesus, did you just kill hundreds of people? <laughs> with ghost soldiers? It's just that simple. <laughs> it's just that simple. Now you too can be a genocidal maniac. In Black Flag, you didn't get to use any pieces of Eden. Uh, yeah, that's true. I don't recall. In Father. In two, Ezio used one in a cutscene. In Brotherhood, you used it in the game. In this game, you use it in the game. And I won't talk about three. Uh, we don't yeah. talk about three. Well, just be, just because it's somebody else's thread, I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, I was very young. Four. I was foolish I don't enough to believe really that our creed would bring an end game, to all in, these uh, conflicts. If only the, I possessed uh, bonus the ability to say to uh, myself, I have seen No, Altair, don't, a, uh, don't do it. I have There's so much to live for at age 90. Then again, there is no greater glory than fighting to find the truth. I was going to say it was we a first civilization shotgun. So. A last favor, Nicolo. Oh. Not quite a PC even, but... Gun them well. Yeah. Hide them Close enough. Oh, what? and a little more backstory the game doesn't give you. Altair got those memory keys when he was in Iran. A message? Uh, so, when, when he was at the old assassin fortress at Alamut, that's where he found those keys. Over in the Persian Empire. And then, um, he gave the codex to Nicolo Polo there. But the thing is, Nicolo must have lost it very soon afterwards. Because they're all because over here. 
Because there's an entire little backstory with the Audi Torre family coming into possession of the Codex and bringing it to Italy. Uh, that was kind of, uh, yeah, that, that kind of happened. Forgive the haste of my handwriting, Claudia. Much has transpired. I have killed so unfold. many people, Claudia. I am on a ship bound for Constantinople in pursuit of a man whose treachery. Now I'm going to have to list now. them all. Prince Ahmed. Requiescat in pace. Is the man leading Templars here? He is the mastermind behind the Masyaf expedition, and he will stop at nothing to retrieve the keys, all of which are now in assassin so hands. So unfortunately, the cheats so for 100% synchronizing the keys to a sequence aren't that good in this fools. game. Like, we just got infinite ammunition. Oh, fearless. thank God. Because the yeah. Templars but in, know about in Brotherhood, yeah, you got like a unicorn for Claudia. synchronizing <laughs> one <laughs> sequence of time. They did not know I that. With myself. You, ride, you can ride around on a unicorn, a and when you attack, lightning it. strikes out of your sword. <laughs> my it's awesome. There's the uh, sister hard. would cheat, which everybody else there is. be fans of. So. But, brother, but Black Flag, I think, had the best cheats, like making Edward speak in piratese all the time. Turning your crew into a literal skeleton crew. That's okay. They at least they had a sense of humor about that. Yeah, I mean literal skeletons manning your ship. That's awesome. Fucking skeleton but crews, one, man. One more cutscene to short cutscene to end the video. Oh no. I love short cutscenes and the end of videos, especially that second one. Goodness, that was a mess. But yeah, notice my robe color is completely the different than the one I left. But you were on that boat for a while and you figured these clothes could the use a change because they New smelled like gunpowder. To all who travel to and from the city. Note that a reward of 10,000 Akche will be given without question to anyone who brings in information to the arrest. that leads to the immediate arrest of the Suikasche. It's your auditorium. Good luck with that. Yeah. Well, if you insist.